Okay, welcome back to the second video. On this one, we're going to complete our capture page by adding the video and our autoresponder code. So from the previous video, <clears throat> this is where we're setting at this point. And we still want to add two more things. We want to add our video URL and our um, HTML code for our autoresponder. Now back on the um, training site under step-by-step, -step, I don't quite have this page completely built. I have to shoot the videos first, so but don't worry, it's it's there. Once you click on the step-by-step, -step, you'll see the uh, HTML code for the capture page, and then you'll see the link. It's a little video URL um, for the, for putting in my videos. There'll be two or three videos that you can choose from. You can just click them and watch them, see which one you like, and then choose whatever one you want. There'll be three or four of them. And so it'll be right, right there. It'll be easy to find. Yeah, no problems. And once you grab that link, you'll just paste it right there. See, I just paste it right there. Make sure autoplay is on. Um, and then if you come down here, and remember we made a change, so we want to update it. Our video should show up. And there's our video right there. See how it popped in? And then I can actually hit view your splice page. Uh, and you see how it's auto playing for us. So the only thing we're missing now <clears throat> is just the uh, code here, the autoresponder code. So what you do on that is again, you log into your All in One Profits account <clears throat> and you'll click autoresponder. When you click that, you're going to be um, at this page, which you should be kind of comfortable with building your autoresponder. Just click campaigns <clears throat> and then. The one that uh, I gave you the code for will show up here. I've got three or four autoresponders. You're only going to have two. So you just got to be sure that you load the correct one. So, um, you know, I just can hit go. Uh, and then now I, you'll notice that I'm, I'm <clears throat> see how it's changing right here. So I, that's the campaign that I'm currently in. So just be sure you load the right campaign. You should only have two. One that All-in-One all Profit set up for you, and then one that you built from my training. Um, so that's the one that you want. So once you've got it, you know, you, you it's ready. You can edit it. Uh, just come up to Prospects, and then you just come down to HTML form. And I can change my layout. Uh, how you know, you're gonna have it longer? You can have the name to the left. I, it just it doesn't matter. You can change the colors if you want. You just you click there and you can just change whatever color that you want on it. Um, and then leave these blank. You don't want too much information. You just want your name and email address. And then just hit generate HTML form. And then I want to capture that code. So I just start at the very top. I copy from form. To form, see how it says up there. I'm going to copy that. Come back over to my splash page. And I'm going to put that right here under AR HTML code, which is autoresponder code. And just paste that in there. And I made a change, so I got to update it. If I don't, it won't save it. And then if, you, if I come down here, let's see it. See, there it is right there. So now I've got my. HTML code in there. So I can view my splash page. And that's the splash page that they'll see. Um, you, that's it, you're set. Now, <clears throat> you can't do a lot of editing. For instance, <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is a uh, pre built image that I've added in. So you'll notice when you click on those, you, you can't edit that. You can make them bigger or smaller, but you can't change the wording. This, you can. If you click on something and you see the box, you can't edit it. If you click on something and you don't see a box, you can change it if you want. So I could change this if I wanted to change this to something else. I can change that. Uh, down here, right there, you can change that if you want. Uh, and then this here, <clears throat> this is a, um, a free guide that I offer. And uh, I do recommend that you offer something free. I'll have it in the uh, autoresponder 
you'll have that ability to do that. Uh, but you know, if not, then if you don't have a website where you can do that, um, you could you could get rid of the you could put to learn more and and uh, I don't know learn more. Normally, you need some sort of a gift, so ideally that's what you'll want to put in there. But uh, if you don't have something, you'll have to remove that. Which it can be. I can just backspace and remove all that if I want. Or add something else in there. And that's it. You now have your capture page built. Uh, and then this is the link to it right here. So if I come back to Splash Pages. And uh, there, there it is right there. That's the link. So if I copy that. And just hit copy. Come up here. Put it in my browser. See, it just loads it for me. So this is the URL that you'll be using uh, for your marketing. And I'll show you how to do that later. So that pretty much wraps it up for this. Um, I'll see you at the next training video. Bye. Whoops.